Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I'm very excited to show you guys the Phenom 2 Quad Core. It's the 810 model specifically, and it's part of building a performance gaming PC. This one here has a locked multiplier, but you can still overclock it no problem. And I'm going to show you here. It's 2.6 gigahertz by default. I'm going to increase it. Now the beauty about this is it comes with 6 megs of cache. You're going to need that internal cache for games for example. 95 watts of thermal power, that's pretty good, and it fits nicely here on my AM2 Plus 940 pin motherboard, so I don't have to go out and buy a new one, I just have to upgrade the BIOS, make sure that it supports it. So this 938 pin fits nicely. Now other features here in specs, it's a 45 nanometer die, so the technology used here is obviously good, we're going to save on power, it natively supports DDR3 which is great, it's got the new cool and quiet support, and it's got the HD Link 3.0 for 4 gigahertz full duplex so that's great you're going to be able to overclock this and, and get this to really maximize the most you can with um, with this in conjunction with the AMD overdrive and all these other tools now before we get, get into that we need to install this properly and prepare it so I'm using the Tunic TX2 thermal grease okay I don't know what you guys have but make sure that when you apply it you apply it properly just one piece size here for your cooler that you're going to put on top okay and then just apply it evenly there don't go too close to the edge now I'm gonna have here a dragon test system it's a Phenom 2 ATI Radeon HD 4870 and of course the motherboard here with the 790 GX chipset now here are all the specs of the system you can pause the screen and look it over if you want this is a dragon test system that I'm using yes I'm using Windows 7 on it I will be making videos about that this CPU here is going to max out at 71 degrees Celsius so you don't want to overclock it too high I'm gonna overclock it to keep it at 50 degrees Celsius full load nowhere over that okay so that means that I'm gonna have to keep the voltages down now when I mean down I mean 1.45 volts okay no more than that so that really gave me about 3.1 gigahertz overclocked okay not not bad not bad I want to keep it cool right so I don't want to go crazy and and put like uh, 1.6 uh, volts and just run this thing at a uh, at crazy uh, temperature so uh, I'm, I'm happy with this I'm happy with the setup I'll make another video on how to overclock it and we'll go through details on that one later okay but this is what I've got right now for the memory the DDR2 that I've got uh, working with it and it's stable that's the whole point to get the system stable and low temperature so on idle I'm about 25 degrees Celsius okay can go up and down a few a, a few uh, degrees but roughly about 25 on idle and a full load if I run prime 95 hundred percent on all four cores 50 degrees Celsius around that okay let's look at some other benchmarks um, I ran some synthetic benchmarks so that's pre-built numbers that are in the Sandra 2009 for example so I ran my my um, benchmarking through that and I compared it, for example, with the, the Phenom 9950. And of course, it, it does way better than that. It does better also than the uh, Core 2 Quad uh, that I have here. A bunch of Core 2 Quads that you can see here that are um, with different uh, uh, sizes. And it beats all of those. Okay. Now, I did run then a multimedia CPU test to see how it does on those. And I added a Core i7, bottom of the line, 2.66 uh, uh, gigahertz one. And um, it only beat the uh, the Core i7 on the um, integer multimedia test, not on the float floating point one. Okay, so on the floating point one, yes, the Core i7 beat beat the uh, the 810, but the 810 still beat all the other Intel ones, the quad cores here and the, and the Phenom uh, uh, 9950. So still, it's pretty good for for the price, right? Now looking at other benchmarks. For the uh, 3D Vantage, I've got uh, 10,067 is the CPU score that I've got compared to the triple uh, core Phenom 2 X3 and and the um, previous 9950. It still beats all of these. Okay, it beats all of these for the CPU score. And also, I ran 3D Mark 06, and the CPU score that I got for that one was 4318. And again, if we compare that one to other scores on the um, FutureMark website, you can see here that it does pretty good against all of these, uh, except for the Intel Core 2 quad here, the uh, 
zero zero overclocked at three point six gigahertz. But then again, I could probably beat that if I overclocked this one even further to three point six gigahertz. But I didn't want to push it, like I said, right? Now let's look at some games. Looking at some games benchmarks here, uh, I I tested a whole bunch, okay? But then I'm consistent only at 1280 by 1024 on all of my games for consistent benchmarking 63 frames per second on f frontlines fuels of war left for dead i got 77 frames per second and uh, these are averages of course it goes up and down it could be higher than that depending on the level mass effect 61 frames per second okay again not bad uh call of duty 4 130 frames per second very sweet smooth Everything is maxed out, of course, remember that. And uh, I also ran the um, Devil's Cry 4. I wanted to try that out and see uh, how that benchmarking did. So I recorded uh, here that I did pretty good at 140 frames per second average. Uh, and Crisis Warhead, of course, I ran that maxed out on the enthusiast level and got about 30 frames per second on that one. So that was not too bad. Up and down roughly, depending on the level. Now, when you talk about price, this is pretty good for what you're getting. $170 as of today, if you were to go on Newegg.com and buy this, compared to other chips, you can see that if you get a, a Core i7 or a, or Intel Core Quad 8200, um, you, you can beat the uh, Intel uh, Core 2 Quad 8200 easy for the price that you're getting. So I, I, I really like the uh, results that I was getting, and I didn't have to overclock it a lot, right? 3.1 gigahertz, there you go. Imagine what you could do if you did more. So anyways, I'd like to thank AMD for providing this, and I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And um, again, if you're thinking about getting a performance gaming PC and uh, saving some money, then this uh, is probably a good choice for you. Okay, thanks for watching.